Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today will be another DIY video. In this video, like I said before, I am starting my Christmas series all the way through uh, December 25th. I will be bringing you uh, the crafts that I have created for my lovely home and the project will be budget friendly and, and easy to make. So in this video, I am going to show you a couple of of projects that I made. I think they turn out gorgeous and perfect for a home decor. So if you would like to know how I made them, please continue watching. Okay guys, for this project we'll need two of plastic mason jar from Dollar Tree. Then I'll use two of this holiday bouquet with the pine cones and I want to make one with the gold poinsettia and one with the white. So this is extras from the <laughs> leftovers that I have. And then I will go with this burlap ribbon on the middle so I can wrap the mason jars around and before that I will pour, uh, I will paint the mason jar with the Beverly white chalk paint and also I will make a little bow by using my Dollar Tree jute. make a bow you take a jute wrap around your three fingers as many loops as you like the ju uh, your bow to be poofy then you take a small little piece of the jute as well and you tie it right on the middle then cut excess of the jute and you just straighten out your petals and here you go our cute little bow Okay guys, for this project we'll need one of Dollar Tree glass, I guess it's a wine glass. I did not have just a clear white one, so mine is kind of a little darkish, but I think it's going to work. It's going to be like maybe a night theme. So then I'm going to use uh, this styrofoam and obviously I already used a piece, so what I did, I used my... A pencil to trace the opening and of course I'm gonna get make it smaller but this is where I'm gonna set up my 
theme. So this is from one of those Chris, uh, vi Winter Villages packages. It had the truck and it had a camper. So I used the camper in a prior video. So if you want to see it, I'll pop it on the screen. So this is what we're going to use. This is as a decoration. And I told you I have a bunch of those that either falls off from <laughs> uh, prior, uh, but everything is Dollar Tree, believe me. So I'm just collecting them so I don't lose it. Then any candle of your preference. I got this pine, pine, uh, winter pine. So, and I got this. And I'm only planning to use one of this uh, light. So this is what we're going to do. And inside, I'm going to try put the different kinds of snow. I got a funnel in there <laughs> because this is how I'm trying to get the snow in. I don't know if I'm going to use the funnel this time, but I got this mini styrofoam bowl snow and a glitter snow. So this is going to be a really cute and a really easy project. Okay guys, so I glued my ornament, my mini ornaments, I guess over here. And I got a uh, piece of, I guess a cardboard. It's I maybe like a piece of paper. So what I'm planning to do, I'm gonna glue this on top of that. I'm probably, well it really doesn't matter, I guess. Probably this way is better. So, like that, and then I'm gonna put it in the cup and inside the cup I mixed both kinds of snow so now I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna test it out if I have enough snow in there so which I'm gonna do this and then turn it upside down just be careful because we haven't secured yet and see I have too much so I'm gonna take it out a little bit so what I'll do I'll dump it back in here okay and we're gonna test it again okay I think I think we had enough. Yep, I think this is plenty. So what I'll do now, I'm gonna get this out and I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue around.
Okay, guys, please ignore the background noise. Um, the neighbors are cutting trees, and I have been waiting all day, and they are not look like they're going to stop. So let me quickly tell you what this project is about. I have this candle for, I swear to God, for over a year, and I finally am going to do something about it. So I am going to use candle. You can have it. You can buy any candles at the dollar store. They have all kinds of beautiful candles. So I'm just going to use what I have. And I have a bunch, like I bought a bag of 200 cinnamon sticks because I just love cinnamon. Sorry, I have glue, glue stick, glue residue from hot glue on my fingers. So uh, I bought 200 of the cinnamon sticks because I just love it. I love it to add it to my coffee. I love it to add it to my crafts. So it smells amazing and it will make a perfect uh, little uh, holiday decoration. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue my cinnamon sticks around this beautiful candle. And then to decorate it, I will cut this ribbon in half and go around it. And then maybe, just maybe, I don't know, it's a, you know, working process. I will use some of this leftovers from my... Uh, pine cone decoration I got the pine cone out and then they had this berries here too so it all fell apart this is from some bouquet I think but I like to use all my leftovers so I don't waste any of my product so if you would like to purchase or see what how much I paid and what it is it I got it on Amazon it is in my Amazon storefront and I will link it in the description below you can click and check it out Okay guys, there it is. I love how it smells. I just, I love cinnamon. So if you don't, if you're allergic to it, then it's probably not for you, but I do. So it took 19 cinnamon sticks to uh, wrap this beauty around. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure this thing and hopefully I will have enough. Let's do this way, yep, so. Uh, about this way and what I'll do I'll cut in half and wrap it around that Okay guys, for this project we'll use a pizza pan from Dollar Tree. Then I got this gift bag and I don't remember, I know it was a dollar and I'm pretty sure it was from the Dollar Tree, but it could be from Dollar General. So I really like this little truck, so I'll be using that. Um, I wanted to cut it as in a shape to fit it on the pizza pan. So that it is that. Then to paint my pizza pan I'll use the white color uh, Beverly chalk paint and outline the sides of it is just a regular acrylic black paint so then to decorate I'm gonna use this um, poinsettia uh, flowers and I have some jute that I want to go uh, do a round thing around the whole pizza pan so this is one of those I bought on the Amazon 
if you guys are interested uh, I have an Amazon storefront and it all will be linked in the description below so you can go check it out if you want to see the jute where I got it from so now that it's gonna be a really cute uh, sign for your front door or for the wall it's up to you where you want to hang it so let's work on that okay so here is my painted pizza pan and this is how I cut my gift bag so I measure it I think it's gonna be cute so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just use a regular Elms glue on the middle and on the side I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue by using my share bond of fine point cordless uh, glue gun this thing is amazing it is also in my Amazon favorites if you would like to check it out go to the description box so but this is the next step for this Okay guys, for this project, let me move this to the side so I can flip it over and show it to you. We will be using this gorgeous Hello Fall sign. And you know, the truck is my weakness. I will not be messing with this, but I'm gonna make a double sign. So I'm gonna leave this pretty thing on and on this side, it's gonna be my holiday Christmas type of thing kind of I want it so what I have in mind I have this uh, kitchen towel from Dollar Tree that I'm gonna wrap this thing around at the top I will be using this piece of burlap that it's left from one of my reefs I got a Dollar Tree ribbon which is what does it says does not wire edge ribbon so I love um, the buffalo check, buffalo plaid, uh, all of this style. So, and then I'm going to use a little bit of jute. And as you know, I don't throw away stuff. This is from some of my crafts that I did not need it. So I'm going to try uh, incorporate it into my project. And this is, I bought it. I wish I would have had more. Um, but I only got the last one and it has three signs thankful harvest and welcome and I would like to use my uh, welcome one and it's just just perfect size for it so this is gonna be a really cute and really easy uh, mason jar sign that you can create for your home um, or recreate I can't wait to see what it will look like
Okay, so now I'm gonna make a ribbon. So I'm gonna uh, fold it like this. And I'm gonna go one, well it depends, I kinda want it not too big so it doesn't clutter my, um, so let's see how, how long this is. Ah, oh, five inches, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'll just cut it right here. Okay, and we're done with that. So now I'm gonna cut a little piece of jute and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie it right in the middle Now I'm going to open it up and fix my little bow. So it is not perfect like Olivia's romantic bow, <laughs> Olivia's bow, but it is Elena's bow and it is working. So, <laughs> okay, and it's going to be just fine and fits perfect on my little welcome sign there you go look it already looks super cute there you go okay all done so now I'm gonna put it on the middle and fluff it up some more look ain't that cute how about that So now I took that string that it was attached to it and since it has already holes in it I'm just gonna put it right back through because there's no reason to waste a perfect jute. So there you go and this way I don't need to glue anything and I don't need to do anything else to it. Perfect. All done. Isn't that cute? Look at my bow. I'm just so impressed with it. Well, that was all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you're one of my new people, please let me know in the comments below so I can welcome you to my small YouTube family. And if you're one of my returning, thank you so much for coming back. Love you guys very much. And I will see you in my next DIY video real soon. Bye for now.